Well, it is another day, and I did do some looking on the internet and found that a diaphragm that went under this cover was installed improperly, so I have already taken this apart, moved the diaphragm to the proper position, and reinstalled it. So the carburetor should be correctly rebuilt, at least partially rebuilt, and I'm now ready to start putting this back together. The plan right now is to get it together enough so I can put some fuel in it and see if I can get it to at least, you know, try to start. So let's get working on that. Make sure my gasket is nice and clean. Also, I did, by the way, I did get some fuel line. And now I have plenty of fuel on, which was one of the other things that had slowed me down and putting this all back together. That's one of the things I'm going to do right now. I did find where I need to route all this. Now we can go through there. Let's get a little extra. Looks like it goes through that. There, there, underneath. Okay, I'm guessing it goes through here. What do you think? There's a couple little places where it can go inside the handle there very nicely. Pull it up and take some of the, and then it goes through here. Make sure it all fits. Let's get this back in. Rot row. Let's see if I can figure out how that went. I'm thinking something like that. So this goes back in hither. I'll see if I can fish this back up and put it into the saddle that the trigger mechanism sits on. Keep this engaged. Well, let's go in from the top. There it is. Okay. That looks good. All right. And this sits on top. What I'm going to do, let's get this so it is somewhat hooked up. There. That looks good. Okay, let's see if we can get the screws back in. Okay, 
now let's get that next one started. Alright, that one doesn't like to go, so let's do this one. There goes that one. A hold. And before I get that snugged up, let's see if I can get this next one started. Yes, I did, was able to get it started. Okay, perfect. All right, let me get a bigger screwdriver. See if we can get a better view of those. Okay. Okay, now let's get this set in, set into place. Okay, there's the top. Okay, that looks good. Doesn't interfere with the mechanism. Bottle mechanism. Okay. Top of the handle, or the yeah, top of the handle. Now let's get the carburetor in. Make sure we get the throttle linkage in the correct hole, which if memory serves me correct, that was the second hole from the end. That one right there. Should be another long one. There it is, right there. That looks good. Now I'll bring my fuel line out, around, clip it, let's cut it. Fuel line has to go right into this little fitting. So I'll cut this and we'll go ahead and get it attached. Give it a little bit more than I need around there. There it is. Fuel line is installed. Auto mechanism works. I do need to manufacture out of some foam some kind of air uh, cleaner because they don't make that anymore from what I understand. Okay. Let's get this. Actually, now am I at the point where I might be able to get this to start? Yes. I think I will give it a try. Alright, I fueled up the tank. Not all the way to the top, but enough to get it going. I want to pour a little bit of gasoline into this cup. And use it to prime the engine. See if we can get it to putt. I'll pour just a couple of drops in here. Partly choke it. See if it'll start. Things that could potentially fall off the table. 
start. Ooh, that sounds very promising. Let's put a little bit more fuel in it. Wants to go. Let's see if I can get any fuel to come into my. Uh so I don't see any fuel in the fuel line. There's some. I can't see it, but there's fuel being drawn up into the fuel line now. Making progress. It wants to go, and I know you can't see it, but I am seeing fuel being drawn up into the carburetor, which is definitely a good sign. So, Maybe flood it now. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And uh, I'll come back to trying to get it started. And I'm going to proceed with putting the rest of this back together. Okay. Let's take off the muffler. Where's my flathead? There it is. That was binding against the side cover when I took it off, so I'm going to get this out of the way. Okay. Put the chain bar on. This way. the chain. Should go this way. Yes, that is the way. Now this side case. This will hold bar on. Where my extra space is, and this goes just like a rubber spacer on a sway bar on a vehicle. So this is a rubber bushing to help dampen the vibration. Okay, now I've got some extra space. One more in 
here. I am guessing this is the one that goes in here. Feels good. Let's turn out the bar. Get a little bit of tension on the chain. A little bit more. Okay, I think that's going to be pretty close to where the chain needs to be. Just a little bit. I like it tight, but it's almost too tight. Good. I like that better. Okay, let's put the cover on. I do have to remember to put an air filter in this thing. Okay, I'm sure this flat head puts, catches the cover. One last one in that cover on the other side. Which means this one has got to go in here. No, it doesn't appear that's it either. Where the heck does this go? Now, I've got extra screws. That is never good. All right. I'll be back. I've got to find out where these extra screws go. I did find out where everything goes. Let's start with that spare Phillips head. It goes down here. Down the case. Which I've already started it, so let's just finish tightening it up. Okay. Spare flathead goes, it does hold a case on. I just didn't get it positioned correctly. Right here. There it goes, just like it should. It's almost like it was made for it. Amazing. You get things in the right spot. Now I can put this cover back on, air filter cover with no air filter underneath, and I will 
in an air filter for it, but for this, just to see if I can get it running. I may, I may be jumping the gun, but I'll leave this off. That way I can see the fuel going into it. Let's go ahead and put the muffler on. This doesn't look like it fits on this. There is something not right here. This is not the correct muffler for it. I know it's not. It is just not fitting on there. It is for it's gotta be for a different saw. You know what? I think I saw some exhaust system parts in the bag. I did. I wonder where this one came from. Wow, that one actually looks like it fits it. Amazing. attached to it. And that is the end of all the nuts and screws and parts. Everything seems to be back in place. Which is always a good sign when you don't find any extra screws laying around. Okay. The moment of truth. filter for this. I'm going to run it a little bit, maybe tweak it, maybe do a low end, and I think I might be done with this. Let's see if it will start again. Just like it should. Fantastic. I will be back. I'm going to try to make an air filter. Okay, I made a makeshift air filter out of a piece of old foam paintbrush which will fit it's kind of almost perfect in there I did cut it a little bit so we'll see if that works
Okay. Let's get the choke back in correctly. Full choke is there. Full choke is here. Screws is just gone missing. I had it a minute ago. Where did it go? Ah, there it is. Stuck to the bottom of my little magnetic screwball. Put some bar oil in it. Almost full, not quite full enough. A little more fuel in it. Now that I know it runs, Take it outside and run it. <laughs> 